Hey, print hustlers, it's Luke from Printavo here with a new episode of The Product Corner. We're talking about one of the biggest features in Printavo today that almost no one seems to know about. Do you know how many quotes you could follow up on today to make more money? How do you keep track of what you need to follow up on? Are you sitting on a giant pile of cash and you just haven't realized it if you sent a couple emails? What if Printavo could tell you how much money is trapped in quotes and waiting to be realized? It can. It can do this. It's pretty cool. But it's a really underutilized feature in Printavo, and we really want you to use it to get a view of where quotes are and what you can do to move your business forward. This feature is really cool because it's available on every tier of Printavo, so it's right for anyone at any point in their Printavo journey. You can get a benefit from this whether you're brand new to Printavo and on light, or whether you've been on premium for the whole time we've been in business. It requires a little bit of work to get set up, but that's why I brought Steve in today to show you how. It's incredibly powerful. It's worth your time. Um, so Steve, I want you to show us what the quote pipeline is and how you can use it in your shop, but I've got a question that we've got to start with. Okay. Um, I know there's a difference in, print, in, in Printavo between a quote and an invoice. Uh, can you explain that? Maybe like show us what that's about. Yeah. Uh, so the, the short answer to that question is um, in Printavo, you have your, your sort of jobs, right? Your various jobs that you're printing for your customers. But those jobs will either be labeled as a quote or as an invoice. And just to d dive a, a skosh deeper, what that also means is you can take a look at your quotes and see how much money you're owed. Or you can take a look at your invoices and see how past due all these people are uh, for what they owe you. So I guess in that quotes page, the quotes are kind of like um, outstanding money or like money that hasn't been collected? Kind of, yeah. So when you label something as a quote, I'll go back to this page. So you'll see up here we label this as the total opportunity uh, with the idea being that if something's still in a quote classification within Printavo, it means you know, maybe you've had a conversation with your customer about the job that you're going to print for them, but they haven't exactly agreed to the fact that they're going to give you money yet. So that often requires uh, you following up, whether it's phone calls, emails, automations, texts, whatever the case may be, right? And looking in my particular account, this is one of my, uh, you know, sort of educational accounts here. But in this account, if this was my real business, I would have thirty six and a half thousand dollars that if I just took the time to go through and follow up on these, right? Even if I convert 10% of that, that's, you know, thirty six hundred bucks that I, I have in my pocket. Uh, or will have in my pocket that I wouldn't have if I didn't use this to organize uh, what I do and don't need to follow up on. So I guess this kind of leads to the next question. Sure. A lot of people don't use this. Right. Um, and my suspicion, my guess, is that they don't use it because they don't know how to set it up. So can you answer that? What do we need to do to get things to show up in the right place? Like how do we set yeah. up jobs in Pablo? to make this work? Yeah, that's a great question. So I'll just head over to uh, my tab here. I'm going to go into my account. And uh, if I'm an administrator of my Printavo account or a super admin, as it's listed in the user section, I'll just go to my account and I'll go here where it says customize invoice statuses. Uh, if I look at my quotes page, right, you'll see that this is broken down by status. So what I'm going to do on my quotes, uh, excuse me, on my status page, you'll see that next to all of my statuses, I have a little checkbox here. Now, if a job is in a status that has this box checked, then that job will be labeled as a quote and also show up in your pipeline, right? And then once you're in the pipeline, something I actually didn't show you earlier is you can just filter out specifically by the status, right? Just by clicking on it. So if I just need to see, hey, who's everybody that you know I, I've sent approvals out to, but need to follow up with? Uh, it's just this this one John Doe for his Lollapalooza tees from last year. But uh, just again, easy navigation, set up the way you choose, right? So you decide what is considered a committed job, right? Where the customer is going to, you know, at, at that point in the flow, they owe you money. And then you're just going to check that box off. If a job is in a status where this box is not checked, then that's going to list as an invoice, right? 
So then that'll show up on, it'll, well, A, it'll be labeled as, you know, invoice number 105, 100, whatever, but it'll also show up on your invoices list here. So you can see your total amount past due that you have to, to follow up on, right? So this is a little bit more like, you know, I guess accounts receivable, payable, whatever, uh, receivable. And so you can see how much uh, people, people owe you, right? The total, how much, uh, you know, okay, these, these people are current, like they're sort of within their payment window. These people are a month, uh, within a month beyond their payment window. These folks are one to two months, two to three months, and then past three months. Now, obviously not a real business, but if this was real, I might be pretty concerned that I have $40,000 in <laughs> outstanding invoices. But again, I can filter to, you know, just the, um, uh, the, the time frame that I'm looking at, right? I can also filter specifically by the status if I want to see those. Uh, just to recap, if a job has this, or excuse me, if a status has this check mark, when the job is in that status, it will list as a quote and it will live in your quotes pipeline. If a job does not have this check mark, then it will list as an invoice and live in your invoices uh, tab over here on the left. Something I see, just a little word of, uh, and your account might even look like this, and it's a it's, uh, common thing that, that we'll see when we look into accounts, is I'll see this. Right? Every single status will have a check mark next to it. And what happens is people think that the status needs to be checked to be active when in fact they're actually we're actually labeling if i'm doing this i'm labeling all of these statuses as quotes so then everything's going to be in my quote pipeline which if i were to save this remember to save your work folks if i were to save this then all of those statuses would show up in my quote pipeline and then it would sort of make this ill effective or uh, just not effective at all so then one use case I can immediately think of. Let's say you have a VIP customer. Maybe they're responsible for 5% of your business. You could create a quote status just for them. And then that would show up in your quote page. And you'd know, hey, that guy needs a call back. He's got an outstanding quote with us, right? Is that kind of how you guys think of yeah, this? Yeah, that, that's exactly something you could do. And I'll, I'll do that live for you uh, right now, actually. So I go to my account, customize invoice statuses, I'll just make a new status. We'll call this Luke, the VIP yes. of VIPs. Right? And just for my own brains, I'll actually no here. I'll, just, I'll, I'll put it like right in the middle here. Oh, you can move it around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. Let's go. How, how are you feeling about green today, Luke? That's great. Great. Perfect. Okay, cool. So I've made this Luke, the VIP of VIPs, right? I can check that box, right? Because I want this to be a quote. Uh, I want this to like live in my quote statuses for you here. Let's get more specific uh, as well. Um, quote for Luke, the VIP of VIPs. And then I'll save this. Okay. And the reason I put it in the middle is just to show you that it doesn't matter where it is. All that matters is that checkbox. So if I refresh this page now, here's all of the, uh, the money that I'm waiting on Luke, the VIP of VIPs to commit to me that I could easily follow up on. Now, obviously there's nothing there because we just made this, but if this, you know, if this guy, if this guy, you, <laughs> Luke, uh, you know, maybe you had $20,000 worth of outstanding quotes or just one quote that was $20,000, you can easily make that stand out and uh, focus on that to close your deal. I really am like over the moon about this feature because I think it's something that is really underutilized and it kind of turns Printavo into a little bit of a CRM if I'm maybe not overstepping my bounds, but it definitely gives everyone in the shop or at least everyone in the shop who has permissions, you know, some mm -hmm. visibility into what could be done today to move things forward. Yeah. I think really the most um, immediately impactful thing that I see that, that wow moment, uh, if you will, when, when I show this to, to shops or when our account managers or success managers, excuse me, will show this to two shops is when you sort of fix those check boxes or you set them up appropriately and then you come to this page and people go, whoa, <laughs> right? Or wow, uh, to, to clarify my example, but like, whoa, like again, 10% of this in this example, it's almost four grand, right? Yeah. 50%, 18 grand, right? Right. And, and it's, I don't have the numbers, but it's just, it's very easy, I think, uh, to to lose track 
of those conversations you've had, right? So, or even just like for following up purposes, right? Like I only have one quote in this quote approval sent, but maybe I had 10 quotes in this quote approval sent that I need to follow up on, right? If I convert this one quote, right? I'm one for one, keep this pipeline clean. That's 600 extra bucks that I'm guaranteed, right? Pending they pay me. Yeah, it's super clean. I I think it's something that uh, I'd really like to see a lot of shops get a lot of benefit out of. It just seems like yeah. it really focuses and organizes your growth, which is something that I know we love to say, but this is where it happens, I think. Yeah, this is, um, this is and, and shout out to uh, Mike Dorrance, our, our head of product, who uh, this was one of his first big products when, when he started here a few years back. Uh, projects, excuse me, when he started here a few years back. And I, I, I really, really love this one because it is so simple and it's so immediately effective when you have it set up right for you to be able to say, oh, wow, like set a, set a, you know, set a goal for yourself. You know, by the end of this week, I want to convert 30% of these to, to uh, accepted sales and add that, you know, whatever it is, 10, 10 grand to my, uh, to my bank account. Well, thanks, Steve. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. Thanks for Shouldn't having me. Quote pipeline. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and we'll, we'll be back next week with another uh, another episode of the Product Corner, a yeah. segment in the weekly. <laughs> Thank you for for joining us. That's it. <laughs> I don't have a sign off yet. I guess that was it. All right.